Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today we're going to do a fun birthday card and we're going to use the Bridge Card Starter Project. So it's in projects. If it's not showing on the first page, just search Bridge Card Starter Project. I want to customize it. So we will bring it in. Let's ungroup everything because we're going to need a little bit of room. So I want this to be a circus theme. So the first animal we're going to pick, well, the only animal actually is going to be a lion. And I like this lion here. So we'll add that to the canvas. Let's resize it. We're going to put the lion in the middle. little bigger than that. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Next, can't have a circus without like a clown and a ring master. So we're going to go back to images. We're going to search clown. And I like that clown right there. So we're going to highlight him. But the ring master, we're going to actually search magician. There he is there. So we're going to add these two to our canvas. Let's resize our clown. We want him to be kind of on the side of the car. Now our magician, first thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight where the little stars are. We're going to contour and just get rid of them. Now he looks more like a ringmaster. Let's get him sized as well. So they're about the same. So now we got three things. Before I go further, I'm going to flatten them all because I want to do print and cut. Okay, next we need a banner. I want the little, kind of like a circusy theme banner. So there, that one right there will work. And we're going to have to resize this one. I want it to go all the way across. put that there and because this is going to be a birthday card let's do a quick search for happy birthday they definitely have lots to choose from but I again want something that's going to be a bit more bright and fine kind of have a circusy theme to it How about that one there we'll add that to the canvas but I am going to change some colors on this. So you just on the layers tab, highlight the one that you want to change colors with. So we make that a bit brighter. We'll take the blue and switch that to lighter blue. And then we'll highlight the tan color and we'll put that as a darker one. So that kind of goes with our banner up top. We're going to be putting that on the banner there. So let's get this sized. So we're probably going to have to unlock it. Squeeze it in the best we can. So that should be fine there. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. Let's flatten. The banner's already print and cut, so we don't have to flatten it. Now I want this to look kind of like a, a train cart. Something with wheels, that, like the old timey circus. So let's get some wheels in here. And we're going to go with that front one. 
and let's get it sized up to the proper size that we're going to want to see. I think that's a good size there. So we'll flatten it and duplicate it. Okay, the last thing we need is we need some bars. So we want it to look like our lion is kind of behind the bars. Like the circus is rolling into town. Don't want images, we want shapes. Gonna unlock this. So I think that's a good size there. We'll duplicate it for all together and we'll put them directly in behind each triangle piece of the banner. Okay, now that we've got everything sorted out here, I'm going to print it off, cut it out, and we will put it together. Okay, here is everything cut out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the bars to the back of our banner. I'm just going to use glue for this. Just a small amount. Okay, I'll quickly do the other ones and then we'll go on to the next step. While that is drying, we'll go on to the next part. So we'll build the main part of the card. So just looking for my score lines. There they are. Folds in. Then it folds out. Okay. So I use this gorgeous foil paper. So I think that's going to look fantastic. There, that looks great. Let's get our side pieces attached. There, very nice. Okay, let's add our lion. So we're gonna put him closer to the top. Tail's not quite in the right spot. But that's okay. 
Okay, let's add our happy birthday. This one I'm going to use glue just because it's a little awkward for the tape runner. Okay, next we're going to add our clown and our ringmaster. Again, I'm going to use glue. So you don't want their arms or feet to go over the edge or it won't fit in the envelope. So keep that in mind. Okay, there's one, I'll get the other one done and then we'll attach the last couple things. Okay, next we're gonna add our banner and bars. Again, I'm gonna use glue on this. It's just easier if you have to move it around. So this is gonna go along the top. Okay, if you have anything like that, I would definitely use them to hold everything in place while the glue dries. I'm going to have to flip it that way, but uh, we'll go on to the next step in a second. Okay, next step, we're going to attach the banner. And we're also going to glue the bottom part of our little bars. So I'm just going to add a little dab of glue to the bottom of each one. I need some more. Then I'm adding some glue here for our banner. And I'm going to use my clamps again to hold everything in place. That one. And we'll do this one. Then I'm going to flip it upside down and press down the bars. Okay, a bit more drying, and then the wheels, and then the final reveal. Okay, final step. We'll get the wheels on, and I'm going to use foam tape on the back of the wheels just to give it more of that three dimensional look so I think that's gonna look good So there we go, all done. I think it definitely looks like the circus has rolled in for someone's birthday. Super cute, I'm very happy with this one. The paper that I used, all of it is 65 pound cardstock and then there's Recollections gold, gold foil. 
And that was to give it a bit more of like the wood look and to make it a bit more fancy. But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.